I said, bottom accents say this phrase out loud. Mm. Earn, earn, and earn, earn. <laughs> Hold on, my earn, earn. <laughs> Aaron, earn, <laughs> and I earn, earn. Hello, Hello, Hello. man, you've just resubscribed for 25 months. Let's school. <laughs> 25 months is crazy. Hi, Manu. Hi, Bart. Hi, MSD Crafter. Feel free to steal it, it's what it's there for. So I'm just uh, getting something to eat before I start. So I've literally just finished work. Feel free to queue up some songs if you want as well. Right, I'm done stopping my face now. Let's go. Cool. See if this still works. It does. It's a bit wonky. Hello, everybody. Put my glasses on before I forget. Yeah, uh, you might recognise that make, Manu. Let's 
So you get to see what one of these boxes looks like. Yo, hello, Greg. So yeah, this is one of the things I got for Christmas. I have this as well. But this is what we're trying first today. So yeah, this is the Tussle Origami sets. They do really good stuff. So, I have had a quick look in this box before. You get adverts with all the other sets and stuff on. Yeah, total ones, Manu. And you get a book of all the patterns. We're going to do a few of these today. And then you get a paper, and I really love this kind of origami paper. So, if I slip this off, I can show you what it looks like. But the patterns on them are amazing. Gold-backed paper. So yeah, they give you a decent stack as well. You get a decent stack of all different patterns and stuff and they're, it's all backed paper as well so it's all pattern on one side and then single colour on the other side and then you've got a few sheets like this which are just like pure gold so I am going to make a gold crane at some point just with the pure gold sheets so I'll put you down to one side We'll see what we're making first. If you guys want to request any songs, by the way, song requests are on, so go for it. Um, so we got contents, symbols, key. These are pretty much the same for everywhere. I'll move it up a bit so you can see it properly. You got mountain fold and valley fold. So that there is a mountain fold, that there is a valley fold, cut, where we'll be not cutting in these. So crease line, R repeat the same movement behind, push or pull that bit, blow air into it, fold in front, fold behind, fold and unfold, and turn it over. Hi shiny. So yeah, it's got a few examples of the site symbols there. Saying, oh yeah, that's a valley fold, that's fold it over. <laughs> Hi shiny. How are you? There you go. It tells you how to practice neat folding. Which is something I am still terrible at. Like matching edges properly. Teaches you how to properly do the inside reverse fold as well. So, da 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 da. So, we got a moth first. We should try this one. <gasps> What's everybody been up to today then? I have just been working. I woke up really late. I was up late last night. Went to bed late. Woke up late like five minutes before I was supposed to start work. So. So. Pattern side down, fold in half to edge to edge, both ways and unfold. Pull the bottom edge to the centre and unfold. Bottom right corners into the bottom crease. So 
to fold the bottom edge up using the bottom crease. Hmm. So I'll bottom edge up to the top. I always find it easy to flip it over when I'm doing that. So we've got bottom edge up to the top, bottom edge to the center. We'll double you back, make it easier. So, uh, da -da -da. fold in half, bring with the right color, fold in half, edge to edge both ways, and all right, so it's supposed to be both ways. <gasps> what are you doing, Bart? It's supposed to be this way. Yeah, it's fold in half, edge to edge both ways, and unfold, fold bottom edge to the center, and unfold. Fold the bottom left and right corners into the bottom crease. So into there. Line this up nicely. We'll try to. We fold the bottom into the bottom crease, fold the bottom edge up using the bottom crease. So now we have this shape. And then fold in half, bottom to top. So now Oh, is this the one where it's just badly timed all the way through? Yeah, it is. There we go. So fold in half, bottom to top. Fold the left and right halves of the bottom edge to meet at the middle crease, so up that way. I actually know somebody who has this as the rings on bar. They have this as the ring torn and um, one of the Doctor Disrespect Disrespect songs as um like their message to them right so left and right halves i managed to meet the middle increase squash fold each half cool we squashing Yeah, once they're meeting in the middle, so squash that side. Same with this side, so open it up, squash it down, line up that fold with the middle part here. So we've got the two squash folds done. Uh, fold up the bottom corner to about the middle of the paper. Fold and tuck in the left ass of those. So we need you about halfway. It's about there. So it's about on the fold already. Right. And then... You need tucking inside, you need cool. Let's 
shows you cheap for these. So if you ever get any like this where it says fold and tuck it inside, it's really awkward tucking it straight in. It's much easier to fold it backwards first. So fold it backwards that way and you've already got the crease and you've just got to reverse the crease then. And it's like a thousand times easier to tuck it in. You can see how clean that line is as well now. So same on this side. It wants me to fold this over down in there. So I'm going to fold it backwards instead to create the crease line. There you go. So that's nice and flush with there. And then we just reverse that fold to tuck it in. And they're both tucked in how it wants it now. Perfect. Right, so it wants me to inside reverse fold these corners. So is it along that line? Yes, it is. So along this crease here, we need to extend it to this and then inside reverse fold. So using that existing crease as a guide do that along there and then inside reverse fold turn it inside out and that creates that like that <gasps> it might just be my microphone's a bit farther away than normal there you go So I move my microphone a bit farther away so it's not in the way of my hands or anything. Right. So, same again. We've already got a bit of a crease there. Just need to extend it along. And then inside reverse fold. So extend you along there. Inside. Tuck it in. Flatten it down. And you've got that nice edge along there now. And then it says... So... It says turn it that way around. Valley fold and unfold along the inner edges of the wings. There, I'm guessing. Yeah, that looks right. So along the inner edge of this wing... How accurate have I done that? Ah, that's all right. Usually I fuck that up and manage to get part of this bit. But it all seems to have gone along fine there. And now this one as well. So that's those two folds done. It says valley fold and unfold along the inner edges of the wings. Turn the paper over left to right. Make mountain folds using the creases from step seven. And move these edges. Wait, so are you? Yes, you are. You're doing this. So we're going to bring that crease line to this one. And same for this one. Yeah, so it wants me. It says, <coughs> that's worded weird. It says, make mountain folds using the creases from step seven, which are those ones. Move these edges to the middle of the paper of the center crease line. Yeah, it should just say fold it over to the center. Now it wants me to turn over again. So yeah, you can see we've made that by bringing it, bringing those folds in. We've made this little bit that sticks up. Uh, inside reverse fold these corners to trim the lower end of the abdomen. So these need folding up 
to that sim. Stop that. So you need folding up to this centre line. And then inside reverse fold. Or almost to the centre. As far as it'll go. And then you go. A few layers there. So flatten it properly. And then inside you go. There. Same on the other side. As far over as we can get it. And then. Inside reverse. So we got those little bits trimmed into it now. Oh, it actually wants me to make a point. Right, never mind. It should have said petal fold then, not inside reverse. See, that there is a petal fold. That's what it actually wants you to do to create that point. And then you fold that point down. Book's already using the wrong terminology. There. <laughs> Thank you, Mysterious Blue. <laughs> uh, hello and goodbye. It is evening here. I should set up that command that Yash has got that tells you my time zone. But hello and goodbye. But there we go. That is the finished Lunar Moth. It's quite cute. I quite like this. Let's add a bit more definition to its wings. Let's bring these folds up a little bit. There you go. So there's the picture. There's what I've made. The front end of theirs is a little bit pointier than mine. I did the fold a little bit different. Didn't do it as far in, but it's decent for a first attempt. Right, what's next? We have <gasps> tortoise. I have actually made tortoises before, but we'll give this pattern a go. So this one is using the leaves. I'm going to try and match up the, the papers as well that they use. I hope they're all in this box. Taking out the gold paper. Right, that's pretty much just a weed leaf, isn't it? That's what it looks like in the book. See if we've got that pattern here. Ah, found it. There are some really nice patterns in here. Like, it was the one that I just spotted. Look. Goldfish on it. And then this one. I really like this pattern. Tortoise time! You're orange backed. So, valley fold in half, quarter to quarter, both ways, and unfold. So that's corner to corner. Now we get to see how well squared off this paper is. The problem you get with cheaper paper is that it isn't properly square. So when you do corner to corner folds, 
you don't get proper points either end. So, let's have a look. So, you can see corners matched up almost perfectly. No overlap there. If we check this corner, it's got the tiniest little bit of overlap. So it's well squared off paper. It's only got a tiny little bit of overlap at the corners. Oh, that didn't. There you go. So you can actually see the orange there. And you can see the tiniest little bit of overlap. So it means it's pretty decent paper. It's just not perfectly square. Well, some of them are horribly off. Right, if I grab some of the really cheap paper I've got. Yeah, Tuttle's a... Like I said when we were on Discord before, like Tuttle's a good brand. Um, here's my cheap paper. Yeah, watch this. Won't be as easy to see. Because it's a small piece of paper, but if I corner to corner this stuff, you'll see how far over it goes. Uh, well, well, you could tell at the end, you could see that blunt bit there. That's like how much it's overgone, because it's just badly squared. <gasps> Total paper's good. Did you get one of these boxes, or did you just get like a paper pack? Right, fold all four corners to the center. Under the sea. <laughs> right, this is one of the folds I'm actually not good at. Often when I've got to fold points to the centre, I end up screwing it up. But what I'm going to do today is, no matter how bad I screw it up, I'm just going to continue. I might have to refold bits, but bugger it. Right, so that's those two corners done. And for these two. This is another point as well where you can see badly made paper because they'll overlap when you try and do these corners to the centre. There you go, we've got all four corners gone to the centre. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. What? Right, so... After we've done corners to the centre, it wants flip this over, fold the top and bottom corners to the centre. Yeah. There you go, so top, bottom, centre. <coughs> so, 
so fold in the edges allowing the corners of the paper to come from underneath so you want me to fold them dead center or no it wants me to do this doesn't it so i need to create a line from that crease there so from that crease there to there i need to create a line but when i fold it over i'm going to allow this bit to come from underneath so there you go you can see the fold line quite well there and i can do that to all four corners There we go. See that creates a nice point underneath now. Which could do the same on the other side. Sometimes it's a bit easier to line these up from underneath. And then corner number four. There you go, so that's all four bits folded over. We get this strange shape here. So now we need to fold over the right corner and then the left, making a vertical line between those points. So there's no fold line there to easily line it up so it be a little bit fiddly e a little bit too far, but bugger it. Same on this side, fold it over, trying to create a straight line between those two points. That's well over. We'll readjust you a bit. There. That's better. weed paper did I just no I didn't tear it I just pulled it out we're good right so two have been folded over now what does it want right, so fold the other edges in Pull the free edges of the top layer triangle flat to match the folded edges top and bottom while folding the square corner to the left. Finish the shape by folding the free edges of the square corner to meet the middle, narrowing the point. Huh? So. So fold over the right corner and then the left. 
pull the free edges of the top layer triangle pack to match the folded edges top and bottom um i'm not quite sure what it's trying to tell me here so that's the diagram hold the free edges of the top layer triangle flap so that's this one to match the folded edges and then it should look like that afterwards apparently am I doing oh I think I know what I went doing This bit looks awkward. So if I'm guessing right anyway. So if you fold you to there, you to there. And we need to fold you down. Then we need I'm confused. I don't know what it's asking for this bit. Right. Um. Right, so I'll fold the free edges to meet. Think. Right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to see if it matches what the picture looks like. Because instructions are unclear. Or are you supposed to be that way? Yes, it does. Right, that's awkward as fuck. Yeah, that's what it wants. It wants it the other way there. Right. I understand now. It's just a very awkward fold. And not pretty at all, the way I've done it. So what it wants is this edge to here. So that bit I've done right. Up to that ledge there. Hi Dave. So this edge has to go down to this edge up to this line 
you got to do it on both sides. Did you manage to redeem your code all right, Dave? There we go. Yeah, this is... It's this fold that is awkward. It's not described very well in the book, but I know what it wants. So... You fold it along, you fold that edge to that edge, that creates a line up to there. You do the same on that side, and now where those two bits meet, this triangle in the middle, you fold down to create a straight line across there. So yeah, it could do with a couple of extra steps in between just to explain this bit. So now we've got that straight line across there. We fold this in. Fold this in. But these bits... So you're basically folding them in like that. But these bits here, you're going to create a little corner there. And they're going to go on the outside. They're going to fold the other way. So. We squash you down. And then. Now it's down like this. And we've got these basically two bumps here. We're going to fold that edge to there. That edge to there. And it'll create like a little corner down here. So that edge has gone to that edge. This edge is going to go to this edge here. And if I've done it right. Yeah. Needs a little bit of teasing to get it right. Tell you what, we'll do it how I originally did it and then reverse the fold. So we'll fold you under first. And then you're getting reverse folded out here. That's simpler. So yeah, bugger what it says in the book. We're going to turn you, we're going to fold along that edge so you go underneath it'll form a natural line along there and then we'll reverse fold it on top so yeah you'd fold it down like this first so you've got this point here and then you fold these parts out and reverse them Uh, this is supposed to be a tortoise, Dave, but it's a very awkward way of making one. There we go. So we've got those edges met, folded over on the outside. Right. So now we've got this shape. We need to fold out the top layers of the right points. Fold it in all four white corners to the center.
like that sort of shape. Yeah, so you can kind of see the shape for the turtle they're going for here. So you're going in. And then we need you to fold out to form like a square shape. There. That's what we want. So we fold all four of those in towards the center. And we just unfold this little bit here to create like the squared out bit. Uh, 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 so now it just says fold these out to make the legs. If you're wondering about the changing music, by the way, this is a a massive playlist I've got that has got a lot of my music, a lot of Beth's music, and a lot of our mate Ashley's music on it. So if I flip this over, there we go. And now, it's literally just a case of cleaning up those edges and the tail so it wants me to How do you look on the first bit? Nah, that looks shit. So it wants it folding that way. It wants those edges folding up. I had a good one. It was a quiet one, so I didn't do much. But uh got myself got got myself God of War Ragnarok, so I've been playing a bunch of that. Well, I say playing a bunch of it, I only installed it yesterday, but I played a bunch yesterday. And I got a bunch of origami stuff as well. Right, and then it turns these bits inside. There you go, there is your tortoise. But it has an inside fold for this bit. Like this. And then if we push him up a bit. There you go, there is the tortoise. <gasps> Hi on me! So the, the name of the stupid long Welsh town is Chlamvaia Pochwing i Gogeru Hwindrobo Chlamtasilio Gogogoch. How you doing on me? Right, that one was complicated. <laughs> I think the only place longer, I think it's like a mountain in New Zealand or something. It's silly long. Right, there's the tortoise. 
what's next on the list. Oh! Corp. Trower and Div will get used to these soon now that they're playing uh, Dwarf Fortress. Carp are vicious in that game. Right, so this is... I want to find that pattern of paper. <gasps> 19 hours. There we go. That's why I always keep my Kindle charged. Oh yeah, it's bad if you're remote working. I'll be back in a second, I'm just going to nip to the loo. And then we'll continue making a carp. back and I've just realized song requests isn't showing up on here you should be there you are had you on the wrong layer right we have a carp to make so Bit of better. Divide body colour or pattern side down. Fold in half, corner to corner, and unfold. So corner to corner. Oh, this one's a bad cut. <gasps> Trying the penguin. Yeah, you could tell this one's a bad cut. You can see it overlap in there. It's only the one side, though. This other side's pretty good. Right, so unfold. Ah, so you're going into the middle to create the kite. So the way I do this, I always cheat at this. You're supposed to just fold this edge straight into the middle. What I do 
as I reverse this. And then I can meet them up by hand. Much easier. And yeah, Dave, song requests are on if you want to request some. So go for it. Right. Then we'll treat. Whoops. We'll do this on this edge as well. And we get our little kite base sorted. That was a bit of a scuffed fold. There, it's better. There we go. Those are our kite base. So I'll fold these corners out. Is it wanting them parallel? Yeah, it is. So. We want you about the same. Here we go. So fold the corners out and you end up with that shape. So fold the sides in so the upper edges are parallel to the center crease. Ah, so this. We want to keep parallel, but we want to go down to this corner. So basically, it wants that edge to be in line with that middle bit there. And the same on the other side. We got a mate who's a librarian and would kill me if he just see me do that. So it's going to this point. There we go, that's better. Yeah, sometimes to get a smoother crease, it's worth just unfolding it a little bit. So you can go over those points. Put this corner back out, fold it back over. It's nice and smooth now. Now we have this shape. This actually wants me to cut things. What kind of origami book is this? We don't do cutting. Right. 
what is it actually about? Cut the bottom point up the middle. So I'll cut along here. Up to the middle, which is about there. There you go. And then we would fold the top point behind. How far along does it want us to go? Half and half? That'd be my guess. Yeah. So we'll fold you down to the base of the tail. That seems about right. So now you end up with this shape, and then fold these corners down to round the head. So this should form naturally because of the layers underneath here. It should like automatically do it for you. Stupid pages. Stop getting me away. So you fold these bits in. So fold in half this way. We end up with this. And then it says, fold up the fins and one of the tail points. So. There we go. We have a carp. That one was way easier. Right, next up is pinwheel. I have made a pinwheel before, a long, long time ago. Oh, you are pretty simple. Right, we're going to quarter some paper for this. Oh, yeah. Did I ever show my finished uh, Gundam on stream? This is him with all of his dry brushing done. Anyway, we're going to quarter some paper for the pinwheel, and it seems to be blue with leaves on it, so I'm going to have a look for that one.
Right. Solved. This looks like the right one. Yeah, it is. So we need to quarter this now because I want it. Eight pieces of paper. And I don't want to use eight full size pieces. Good thing about this kind of paper as well, like quality paper, it tends to split along lines really well when you want it to. So if I quarter this paper, fold it back and forth a couple of times. It should just let me split it pretty easily. There you go, so look. I'll do it the other way. Hold it back and forth a couple of times. So you can see with this kind of paper, it's formed white lines on the paper where I've been folding it back and forth. That's it kind of splitting by itself. So now if I just tear a little bit there and then pull, does it right along that line? Eagle. Robots. So you do get a little bit of fuzziness along the edge just because you've torn it instead of cutting it. But if you are not very accurate with scissors like myself, it's easier to do it this way and you still get nice little squares out of it. So we'll go along this way again. Let's just do it a few times until we can see it as basically a clear white line. And then it's usually good enough to split. There we go. That's good to split now, so I just need to do it the other way. I will tell you about one of my other plans for this year as well. I've already told Manu and Greg about it a bit. So, while I was looking for a uh, D, D stuff the other day i found a bloodborne dungeons and dragons module so it has rules for playing hunters from bloodborne it has stats for different kinds of monsters like the werewolves and the 
crazed, corrupted Yarnan villagers and stuff like that. So at some point this year, soon, hopefully, I'm going to run a one-off Bloodborne D&D session where you can all play as different hunters. There'll be pre-made characters because I know a bunch of you have never played like a full session of D&D before. But I'll organise it through Discord or something at some point. And we'll do a Bloodborne D&D session. So I will pre-make some characters. I'll make them like level 3 or something. So you're not pissy weak level 1. But you'll have a couple of decent abilities. And we'll do like a Bloodborne themed D&D session. I've been looking through this module it's got some cool abilities and stuff and it's got rules for how the trick weapons work and things like that there we go eight little squares of paper right so how do we make this then kite fold Oh, it's literally that simple. You make a kite fold, you fold the bottom tip up to the top, and then slip the bottom left corner of one unit into triangle pocket for another. Turn over and be sure that the bottom left corner is inserted into the right unit. On the original side, fold the top of the triangle over the yeah, for the top of the triangle over the left piece behind the triangle corner of the right please continue connect the remaining six components complete the assembly and turn it over cool so yeah they slot, slot inside each other check it from the other side and then from this side, we just fold that entire bit over to meet center edge. Is it center edge? Yeah, it is. Right. So a pattern side up. We're doing another kite fold, so I'm going to use my little trick again. It's kite fold and then flip it over, fold it up that way. So we do that to all of them.
See, this style of origami where you've got different folded pieces that slot into each other is called modular. So there's a couple of different styles of modular. You've got this style where you make separate parts, the modules, fit them together. And then there's another style where you make tiny little, like little pyramid shapes and attach all them to each other to make um, like larger 3D shapes. But I don't like that style because it is literally just glue stuff together in the shape that you want. I much prefer this modular style here. So we've got these two now. So according to the book, I slide you in there at what angle like that and then So on the original side or so, if I flip it over it should look like that. Ah, uh, that's why. Took it into the wrong bit. So you should be like that. I like it. Now it looks right. And now we fold. You along this edge. To that point. And then tuck you inside. No worries, Dave. There you go. So we took you into there. That's what we want. You need to make the rest of them and fit them into each other.
So I'll get the rest of these made first and then I'll start fitting them all together. And then we should be able to form them all together and tuck in to form a pinwheel. Hopefully. Right. Four more to do. all about repetition more repeat it quicker i get more accurate i get as well Let's see. Yeah, this playlist is massive, so I doubt we'll run out of songs anytime soon. I think it's got like a thousand odd songs on it. Or it did last time I checked, anyway. <sighs> Tortoise was awkward and confusing. This one seems to be much better. So this is one of the modular pieces. So I'm going to make eight of these modules and fit them into each other. Right. 
One more. We can fit them all together. Right, right, right. So, so all the modules done. Now we're going to fit them all together. So, you go into that bit. And then you fold into there. Last one, or last two, I should say. And then this is the awkward bit. Where's the one that goes in here?
There we go. Pinwheel. Done. That's quite cool. Cool one. So no cutting or gluing needed. It all just tucks into each other. And it even has the little hole in the centre for you to spin it on. Eight different parts all slotting into each other. So you made like eight of these little kite shapes. And then they slot into each other and fold over to lock in place. And then when you flip it over, you get this. That's quite cool one. Right, what's next on the list? A lotus. Same kind of paper as well. I've actually made a lotus before, but I'll see if this this pattern's any different to the other ones I've made. So for the Lotus, da -da 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 -da. pattern side down, corner to corner both ways and unfold. So the corner to corner. And then all four corners to the center. Yeah, I really like it as well. There we go, so fold all four corners in and then the same again. So the one thing that I'm really bad at I have to fix. And now flip over
Ah, that's so many layers. So fold out each corner partway to form an eight-pointed star. So now we have this shape, turn it over, fold out these corners, And then fold out these corners as well. There we have a lotus flower. That was an easy one. Uh, what's next? I'll call this the balloon. I have in fact not made balloon before. So triangle base first. That's easy to get to. Uh, what color paper is this using? Uh, dragonflies. That was me dragonfly paper. There. Right side down. And we need to make triangle base, which is this way. This is one of the bases that I make often, so it's 
easy to remember and easy to do. So corner to corner. Corner to corner. And you do top to bottom and side to side, but you do one of the folds as a mountain fold, or you do the rest as valley folds. And the mountain folds go on the inside, and everything else falls into place to form a triangle. So you can see I've done the mountain fold there, everything else is a valley fold. And you just pinch it together and it all falls into place. Just triangle this. And now points to the top. Save on this side. Boop. Boop. Hi, Kelly. So we've got all them folded to the top. Fold in the left and right corners to meet in the center. I'm making a balloon this time. So, so far I've made a lotus flower. I made a pinwheel. I made a carp. And I made a tortoise. Yes, I have. And I made moth. Right. Fold this in. Right, so fold you like that, and then we fold you down. Aha, and then you go into so that gets folded down there, and the little pocket I've made there it folds over into. So I'm going to pre fold this to make it a bit easier. So make that there. Open up this pocket. So 
There are some, I think there's a rabbit pattern in the other book. So when I get round to doing the other book, I'll make Luna then. I'll make sure I save some grey paper for it. So yeah, you fold into that pocket like that. And I'll do the same with this one. I'll make sure to make Luna without any eyes so it's accurate. This is the, the square one. The total one. So I'll fold this one down, fold it over, tuck it into the pocket. Fold this one down. <laughs> Took this one into the pocket. This one's a little bit off, so it's not going to fit properly. Don't think. Greg is around somewhere, he's probably playing Overwatch or something. Right, so... Now for the magic trick. Switch scenes for this. Let's see how well this works. So, if this works properly now, I should just have to blow into it. Did it. There's a little balloon. <laughs> right. Now for the last one. I'm going to get a good piece of the gold paper because I told Manu about this. So I'm going to do it on stream. So a lot of the origami is it's muscle memory. Getting used to the folds and the positions and everything like that. So one of the practice things you do every now and then is you try and do it blind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can make a crane blind using the gold paper. So, eyes completely closed and just doing it by touch and by muscle memory. See if I can get a, make myself a crane. So I know Manu has done it before and Manu made a decent one. So I've got to hold up the standards. So, gold paper because it's a special one. Eyes closed. Line up the corners. So 
so I'm going to visualise it in my head. So, that's vertical and sideways done. And there are valley folds, so I need to do corner to corner now. Hi, it's me, Greg. I want to sniff your poo underscore. I am not surprised, Greg. The kind of stuff you got up to in Amsterdam. Sounds about right. Right. Corner to corner. You're going over the edge. Right, so... I've done this right. I should be able to collapse... Diagonals inwards. That should give me square base. Because that's how I usually do the square base. So that feels right. Is it? Eh. Where's the corner? There. Yeah, that feels right. So that gives us square base. So now I need to do the petal fold so I've got a feel for that midline no that's the wrong way up fold from this part yeah from this part have you gone to the end? Same over this way. Yes. So fold over the top. So I get the nice crease line. And now I should be able to fold these inside. That doesn't feel right. Oh, no, it does. Right there. That feels right. So that should be the diamond shape on one side. Not perfect fold, I can feel it pulling up a bit there. Yeah, there's a bit of a gap there. Right, other side, gonna do the same. So to the center line, or try to. Match you up. Can I lean you against each other? Will that do it? There. Get that fold line again. Flip you up and tuck you in. That point feels a bit better. Flatten you out. I'll fold this up. It's not pinching as much this time. I think I did that side a bit better. So we've got 
Yeah, both are up there. This is the split bit. So you need folding to the center. to try and match them up again. Yeah, that feels right. Right, let's see if I can bump them up against each other again. There. That doesn't feel good. That side feels really wonky. There. So now it's folding them up to make the beak and the tail. Yeah, I can feel that overlapping quite heavily. That's wonky. So this is the bit where it's most obvious because I can feel it overlap in there. Does this side feel any better? That feels wide open at the end. I think you can be the beak then. As far as it can go. So. Fold the wings down. Now we have tail, head, and beak. Right, that's that's done. Let's see how scuffed this looks. Oh, it's not horrible. Yeah. I'm just going back to see what you said now. Greg keeps saying he liked your bomb and deleting his messages. Greg. So, the bit that I thought was scuffed the tail isn't too bad. The bit that I thought was good, the face, is completely scuffed. Oh, there we go, there's my blind crane. Manu's was much neater than mine. Yeah, you could see it's cause when I've done the points to the end there, they've not met up properly. So when it's folded down, they've spread out. Yeah, golden paper is awesome. This is one of the total sets, so you can get some of this stuff, Manu. So yeah, this shall be my blind crane. He can live on my desk for a bit. So today we've got the blind crane. We've got a pinwheel. We've got the balloon. We've got... The wonky tortoise. 
we've got the the lotus flower we have the moth and we have the carp so that's what we've made today i think i shall finish there as well because it's like just past 10 and i need to get some stuff ready for work for tomorrow i'm gonna pack up my laptop and everything because i'm in the office you can have them off if you want kelly next time you come round. i shall give it you put it to one side so i don't forget yeah there's the the penguin i made the other day as well so well i'm at work tomorrow so I'll, I'll like stash it in the front front room or something for you so yeah that is me done for today i am tired i need to go and get some tea and then a brew and sort my stuff for work uh I'll finish at four tomorrow i think means i should be home like just past five check yeah eight till four so i'll be on like just gone five thank you for watching everybody i'll move over to the fancy finish screen i will find somebody to raid as well who is online who's a boot oh no it's twitch dying again or has it just been really slow oh wow there's bugger all people online right i'll just end then i shall see you all next time i'll be back on thursday doing uh uncharted on thursday oh he's chamber online <laughs> he is right well we're going to read chamber like a rainbow uh. right we're going to say hello to chamber no do the underscore There's the right one. Right. Thank you for coming, everybody. Thank you for watching, and I will I will see all you nerds next time. I'll see you for, like, Uncharted or something on Thursday. Bye, everybody.